A new image from the 2-meter twin telescope taken back in August shows 3i Atlas in more detail. And you guessed it, still no observable tail. Normally, comets start forming a tail below 5 astronomical unit from the Sun. This image was taken when 3i Atlas was at 2.78 astronomical unit. And for reference, the ESA image was captured at just 1.5 astronomical unit. But that's not the only anomaly. Astronomers also detected a sunward jet-like feature pointing forward, possibly related to the front glow we first saw in Hubble and Gemini images. And just to reiterate, these are not images of tail behind 3i Atlas. They are front glows. Here's the strange part. If you look at the progression of these images, instead of getting bigger as the comet approaches the sun, this jet or front glow effect is actually shrinking. Normally, comet tails and jets become more active closer to the Sun. But in the case of 3i Atlas, not only are we not seeing a substantial tail, the jet effect itself is fading. Now, here's a wild idea. People assume an interstellar object traveling at 60 kilometers per second must have been moving that fast for thousands, maybe even millions of years to reach us. But what if 3i Atlas wasn't moving that fast the whole time? What if, when first observed near Jupiter's orbit, it was already using reverse thrusters to slow down, creating the front glow we saw? And as it slowed further, those thrusters turned off, making the front glow dimmer instead of brighter. Of course, we can only speculate until NASA finally releases the high-rise images of 3i Atlas from its Mars flyby. You'd think that even with a government shutdown, they'd want to share those images as soon as possible to put an end to all these wild ideas and conspiracy theories. Not to mention, the principal investigator of the high-rise camera isn't even from NASA, he is at the University of Arizona. But instead, all we get is silence. <laughs>